Today we're making rack of lamb on our big green egg. So let's fire up the egg. Let's get cooking. First, we'll go ahead and refresh this with some big green egg chuckle. For today's recipe, we've got a really easy ingredient deck for you because we're gonna let the big green egg flavors shine through on that amazing Colorado lamb. That's right, we've got an eight bone French rack of Colorado lamb. And the reason we went with Colorado lamb is it has a much bigger eye, it has much uh, heartier flavor, and this tastes very, very robust and rich and deep. Now, you can use New Zealand, you can use Australian, those will absolutely work as well. Then, today, we're gonna season it with a little bit of our game on rub. Hey, I'm to let you in on a secret. This is my family's lamb spice recipe. That is pure magic. And then we're gonna oil it up just a little bit. So let's dive in here, show you how we get this all seasoned and ready for the big green egg. Okay, so we're gonna start off just lightly oil the back and get the back part of this seasoned. And then, you know what we always say, you guys, season as light or as heavy as you want. Now, the beauty of buying this French rack is all of this work has been done for us, which I would say is a huge savings. All right, we went ahead and flipped this guy over. Now we are on the top side as well. And it's important, make sure you get those edges too. But we'll go through again, get this all seasoned up. The key is to really let this uh, rest for just a little bit before you grill it. And then definitely, uh, once you've seasoned it, let it sit and enjoy a little more resting time while your big green egg comes up to temp. All right, we'll give this big green egg a burp. We are preheated to 450 degrees. Now, the nice thing, no matter what size big green egg you're cooking at, look right in the middle. That is going to be the hottest, most direct heat. So what we're gonna do is actually set this off to the side, so we're almost indirect, if you will, and that works on large, extra large, every size you have. So now what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and track this. We'll let this go for about 10 minutes, and then we'll come out and start checking its temperature. All right, let's give it a burp and check in here after 10 minutes. Beautiful, beautiful color on those bones. I like to give it a quick check on temperature as well to see where we're at. My doneness today, I'm gonna take this to about 125 degrees. We're already about halfway there. So what I'm gonna do now is we're gonna leave it for another 10 minutes before we come back, flip it, start to get a little bit of color. But the beauty is we're offset. When it comes time to give it a little bit of sear, we are going direct over the heat, over the coals. All right, 20 minutes in, let's give it a burp. Oh man, it smells so good. We're gonna check temp here right in the middle, see where we're at. Look at that, we're hovering right about 99 degrees. Now, we'll go ahead and give this a flip. You guys, look at this. That is beautiful color. Now, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna move it a little bit closer to the heat to get a little bit of sear on the front side. We're gonna let this go now for the final 10 minutes. Like I said, today, we're gonna bring this up to 125 degree internal temp, and then we're gonna let it rest. Notice that smoke. Let's give this a burp. One of the things I wanna be careful of is that we're not rendering too much fat. So if you get a little dark spot like that, don't worry about it just go ahead and move this indirect again and get it away from those flames but super easy just pay attention to the color of the smoke that's going to be a visual cue that some things are going on that you need to pay attention to so we'll close it We've got about three minutes left okay we took 10 we just hit 125 look at that we are done let's head in the kitchen we're gonna let this rest now well, there you have it. In about 28 to 30 minutes, we have beautiful medium Colorado rack of lamb. Now, I'll tell you what, not everyone likes lamb at medium rare. So adjust this recipe to hit whatever you want for your desired doneness. And then, like we said, we talked a little bit about visual cues, if you will, to uh, make sure that everything is happening just as you wanted to. Hey, you know what goes great with this Colorado lamb? Some amazing grilled halloumi cheese. And that video is coming up next.